Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. A mixture of several ideal gases will exert upon the walls of a container a total pressure equal to the sum of the pressures exerted by each of the constituents as if they were alone in the container at the same temperature as the mixture. In your thought process, have a container and just fill it with maybe um, so much of this purple colored gas and so much of this red colored gas. True? Maybe the purple is oxygen and, and the red is nitrogen. And think about the pressure that is exerted total on the walls of the container. Then in your thought process, have an equal size container and an equal size container. So the same volume and the same temperature. But in the first container, only have the red. What did I say the red was? Maybe the oxygen. And then in the second container, only have the purple. What was that? Maybe the nitrogen, right? And you'll find that this pressure is less than the total, and that this pressure is less than the total. But when you add them up, they equal the total pressure. That's the concept of Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. If I had the total number of moles, that's equal to the number of moles of A plus the number of moles of B. That makes sense. The ideal gas equation would be N is equal to PV divided by R bar T. The total N is equal to pressure total times volume divided by R bar T. And then over here, A is behaves in a, uh, as an ideal gas, the same volume, same temperature. So you have the pressure exhibited by A times V over R bar T plus pressure at B, uh, V over R bar T. Each of these equations have the same V over R bar T, so they cancel. And we're left with just saying something. This is a truthful statement, and it follows then that if all of them behave as ideal gases, then the total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressures of the gases. One other thing to, to, to be aware of is that for the partial pressure A, using ideal gas equation is the number of moles of A, R bar T divided by B. True? That's another expression of the ideal gas equation. Take that, divide by the total pressure, here, let me write, write another equation. P total is equal to N total R bar T over V. So take this equation and divide the left-hand side by P total and the right-hand side by P total, but instead of P total, put N total R bar T over V. These cancel, and what we're left with, this ratio right here, number of moles of A divided by the number of moles total. What is that? Is that Y sub A? Is that the mole fraction? Yeah. So the mole fraction is equal to the partial pressure of A divided by the total pressure. Or another way of writing it is, if I wanted a quick expression for the partial pressure of A, the partial pressure of A is equal to the mole fraction for that species A times the total gas pressure.